Greetings to all my tech heads out there in the Kev Techify Nation. And if you're new here, welcome. In this episode, we're going to be looking at configuring local AAA authentication. We'll be discussing how to authenticate administrative access, authentication methods, default and name methods, fine tuning that authentication configuration, configure local AAA authentication, and then finally, we're going to configure local AAA for console and VTY access. This episode is part of my series on network security. I'm Kevin here at Kev Techify. Let's get this adventure started. The local AAA authentication method is similar to using that login local command with one exception. AAA also provides a way to configure backup methods of authentication. So if that local username and password isn't working, you can configure different methods, a radius server, a TACAC server. Now, to configure the local AAA services to authenticate administrator access, it requires a few basic steps. First one here is add the usernames and passwords to the local router database for the users that need administrative access. Catch that, you have to add the users to each device. The second step here is to enable AAA globally on your router. Once you've got it enabled on your router, you can go in and you can configure AAA. Once you've enabled it and configure it, now let's go ahead and the last step here, step four, is you can confirm and troubleshoot the AAA configuration. Use the AAA authentication login command here to enable authentication of the console, auxiliary, and VTY line. Now, if you put the default keyword in here, it's going to apply authentication to all of those lines. Alternatively, if you create a list here and you put that list name in here, you can have a custom authentication method to authenticate your servers. The default here, once again, uses the listed administrate uses the listed authentication methods, and these are the authentication methods here, as the default list of methods when a user logs in. The list name here, once again, list name right here. This is a character string, meaning that's the name of your list to authenticate or to is a list of authentication methods here activated when a user logs in. And then finally, we have our methods here. Now, this identifies a list of methods that AAA authentication process will query in the given sequence. At least one method has, has to be specified with a maximum of four methods. If you like this episode on configuring local AAA authentication and you get value out of it, and depending upon the platform you're using, please click that like, please click that like button, give a five star rating, leave a comment. Doing this supports the channel, which in turn helps me bring you more great content. Click that notification bell to turn on notifications to be alerted every time I release a new episode, and there are a whole bunch of new episodes headed your way. You can also visit my website at kevtechify.com for all of my details and how to get these episodes in video and podcast form. Up to four methods can be defined to authenticate users. Now, what this does is it provides fallback methods should one of the methods fail. So if, you're, if your local users you created aren't working for some reason, it will fall back to the other methods you have. It could be a radius server or a TACAC server. Now, to enable local authentication using a pre-configured lo pre local database, those are the users you created, use the keyword local or local case. Now, to specify that a user can authenticate using the enable password, use enable. So here's a list of the common methods. And once again, we're talking the methods that are listed here at the end of the line. And the first method here is the enable. Now, this uses the enable password for authentication. The next one here is local. 
This uses the local username's database for authentication. These are the users you created on that device. Now notice the key is you have to go and create those on every device you want to give access to. Local case is very similar to the local method, but it's a case sensitive um, username. If you have none as the method, it's not going to use any authentication. And then the last three are groups. Here we have group radius. And what this is is a list of all radius servers for authentication. So you create a list here of all your radius servers that you can use for authentication. Group TACX is the same thing, but it goes for a TACX server. The last one here is the group and group name. Now, this uses a subset of the Radius or TechX servers for authentication, and it's def in, in, that is as defined here in these two Group Radius and Group TechX commands. For flexibility, different method lists can be applied to different interfaces and lines using the AAA authentication login command. The named list must be explicitly enabled on the line using the login authentication line com configuration command. So once you create this login method or this authentication right here, you have to explicitly list this out in your interface command there. Now, if a line has a custom authentication method list applied to it, that method list overrides the default method for that interface. When a custom authentication method is list is applied to an interface, it's possible to return that default method list by issuing a no authentication login command. Once again, that command was no, oops, let's go ahead and spell that right. It was no authentication. We can abbreviate that and then login and that will remove it. Additional security can be implemented on the line using the AAA local authentication attempts max fail command. Now, this command secures AAA user accounts by locking these accounts that have excessive failed login attempts. So you use this command here, AAA local authentication attempts max fail, and then you specify the number of unsuccessful logins. Now, what this is, is it's the un number of unsuccessful login attempts before a connection is dropped, so it drops the connection, and that user account is locked. Now, the locked user account remains locked until you, the administrator, manually go in and clearing it, or clear it. Now, the command to clear it is clear triple a local user lockout so that command right here clear triple a local user logout lockout clears and resets that user account now, if you want to you can display the attributes that were collected for a triple a session that command here is show AAA user. And that will display all the attribu attributes that were collected for that particular session. It was my pleasure to provide you with this wonderful episode on configuring local AAA authentication. If you like this episode and you got value out of it, and depending upon the platform you're using, please click that like like button, leave a five star rating, leave a comment. This all helps me bring you more great content. Please take a minute to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell. All my socials and contact information are on my website, kevtechify.com, and you can get all of these episodes in video and podcast form. In the upper right is my playlist for my series on network security. In the bottom right is one of my favorite videos that I picked just for you. Thank you so much for watching this episode on my series of network security. Once again, I'm Kevin. This is Kev Techify. I'll see you next time for another great adventure.